platform is all about connectivity and performance. We here in front of our cordless hydraulic portfolio, we focus on reliability, safety and our unmatched services. And today we're going to show you these 14 hydraulic press tools. What you'll see here is the mechanical section. So this is for pipe pressing, refrigerating, water pipes and stuff like this. And from here onwards is the electrical side. So we have punch, cutting and crimping tools. As you can see here, we have five different tools ranging from 32 kN to 19 kN in force. What we will add with the Neuron platform is an additional tool, which is that tool here. It's 24 kN. And it's listening to the trends we see, listening to customers on the North American market, US and Canada. And we're launching this tool, which is coming, like I said, with 24 kilonewton and a, an inline shape and um, compact jaws. Why is that tool a good addition? Because it's very compact and ergonomic. Imagine yourself doing an application up here. You don't want to lift up a very heavy, large size tool. You want to have something compact, which lets you easily work. That's why we believe that this is a great addition um, to the tradesmen and tradeswomen in the US and Canada. What we also do is we're launching corresponding press inserts, press jaws and press rings. You can see here on our shelf that we are having already a broad variety of the different press inserts. We're also doing that for this particular tool here. We have the new NPR24 with the corresponding jaw for this fitting and this pipe. In that case, we have a copper refrigeration fitting. So what you do is you go in there, align it to the grooves correctly, and all you need to do then is press. And you can see within seconds, you have created a connection, which is not just super safe, but also super watertight, or in that case, liquid tight. We also have a range of tools for the electrical side. What you'll see here, these two tools are for slicing copper and aluminium. So these are dedicated to get the biggest possible cut out of this class of tool. So this relatively small tool here can cut a thousand KC mill conductor. So I can cut this with this tool. These have been optimized for this, so I have sharp blades for slicing the relatively soft copper, aluminium or insulation. As soon as I need to cut something with steel in it, a guy wire or an overhead conductor, so an aluminium conductor steel reinforced, then I need a different blade design. What I'm trying to do with these blades is I'll have a blunter blade, it'll be a more robust blade, and I'm actually snapping the steel. So if I were to try to use these blades on a steel, I would start damaging that nice clean cut surface. So as well as upgrading everything onto the Neuron platform, because we are constantly in the field working with the tradespeople, we're getting the feedback. And there's a, just one example here. So the largest tool that we can do on this power class here, this could cut a half inch extra high strength guy wire. And to do that, you have to go from the scissor design to the closed head guillotine design to get away from the cantilever effect. Previously, we had to open and shut this with two hands. And we got the feedback, obviously, hey, if I'm working overhead out of a bucket truck, I don't want to reach up go over the conductor and then with a the second half to do it, second hand shut it. So now it just snaps shuts over the conductor and people say, well, how do you open it? Well, I don't open it, I cut. Yeah. So job done. So small improvements just from constantly working with the trade speed. As well as these cutters, we have the crimpers. So a standard size 12 ton U-die style crimper. And here what we have is the uh, Dylas six ton crimper. The beauty of the Dylas crimper is It'll pretty much crimp anything that will fit inside there, as far as a connection, a lug. I don't need to have the right size die. For a die crimper, I need to have the right size uh, dies to fit the, uh, the lug to fit the conductor. Here, anything that will fit will work. The limitation of a die crimper is that I can only do a round connection. So I can put the lug on the end of a cable or I can do a, a splice end to end. I can't do a tap side to side. But heavy electrical applications, if I need to, to do something, different size equipment, different size conductors, I don't need to worry, do I have the right die set? What we're going to show you now is this, the favorite, NUN54. The beauty of this tool is it's three tools in one. So if I'm working on a relatively heavy electrical site and I need to cut and crimp, various different size things. So see, you can see here, light duty, medium duty, and relatively heavy duty conductors. I can first of all cut them by putting copper aluminium sharp slicing blades.
I can change that out and put in steel blades if I'm cutting a guide wire. We're not going to cut steel today because when you snap the steel, it flies off. So it's just a little bit more of a safety issue with lots of people around. Having cut the conductor, obviously then I need to put a lug onto it to uh, make the electrical connection. So I can change out to the crimping jaws. Here I've got the right size dies for this conductor. And I can crimp. Job done.